Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture from March the 31st of 2020, well, it is titled the Galactic Center from Radio to X-Ray. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the center of our galaxy. Now, the center of our galaxy uh, was the first radio source to be discovered. It is a very strong emitter of radio waves, but it also emits radiation across the entire electromagnetic spectrum. And in fact, one of the places where it's the weakest is in the visible light. Visible light is very difficult to see from the galactic center because of the amount of dust between us and the center of our galaxy, and that dust blocks out the visible light. So while it is one of the strongest, is the strongest radio source in the sky, it is not a very prominent visible source of light. Now here we're looking at uh, the combination of radio and x-ray images to get a better idea of what the center of the galaxy is like. And we can see the uh, radio emission is given in red, so the red colors are strong radio emission regions, and the blue and green are the stronger x-ray emission. So when we put that all together, we get an image that looks very interesting here, as we can see a lot of streamers and materials of red showing that that is radio emission, and a lot of that goes back towards the, cent the exact center of our galaxy, uh, which is known as Sagittarius A, and the very center that radio source has centered on what we call Sagittarius A star, which is the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. Now, this black hole has a mass of about 4 million times the mass of our sun, and by galactic standards, that's a very small black hole. There are many that get many times larger than that, up to billions or more times the mass of our sun. So the central black hole is what powers the center of the galaxy. Now, you, now, black holes themselves cannot emit anything because, by definition, the escape velocity from a black hole is the greater than the speed of light. So in order to get out of a black hole, you would have to travel faster than the speed of light, and nothing can do that. However, material spiraling into the black hole is heated to incredibly high temperatures and can give off lots of x-rays. And a lot of the radio emission comes from electrons. The electrons spiraling along mag magnetic field lines give off a specific type of radio radiation that can be detected here. So when we put it all together, we get to see all sorts of structures towards the center of our galaxy, uh, including a lot of shock waves, material, there's lots of stars there, and as there are stars, many supernovae, stars that explode. So a lot of what we're seeing can be remnants of supernovae that have occurred that we do not even know about. Even if they occurred recently, there is so much material between us and the galactic center that we would never see those stars exploding uh, in visible light. So they would still remain completely invisible to us. However, our radio emission can then see the remnants of them left behind. So that was our picture of the day for March the 31st of 2020. It was titled The Galactic Center from Radio to X-Ray. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Edible Asteroid. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.